short burst relief assignments, and uh, we'll see what happens. He was 4-4 four and four with a 3-9 and 11 starts, 47 strikeouts, 55 innings. Nothing great, but uh, we'll see what happens. Watka, six earned runs, seven hits, and four and two-thirds against the Royals. And he blew up, so he's been toying with different arm slots during the month. He throws that overhead fastball that, to me, clearly just flattens out. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to see that. Who killed Bambi? Unbelievable. Who killed Bambi? All right, who is Bambi? I want to meet Bambi. Or Donkey Yogi, either one. Arnie was here and go. Arnie will be up next. Christian Yelich hit his 24th home run. Mike Moustakas hit his 20th in the 66th game played by the Brewers. They are the third left-handed hitting teammates to hit 20 home runs in as many as uh, 66 games. Who are the other two teammates, left-handed batters, who by their 66th game hit 20 or more home runs? One is pretty obvious, okay? Uh, The other one, let's see how good you are, right? Uh, One is pretty obvious. Two left-handed hitters. Can you think of two left-handed hitters? Can you, who are the two left-handed? On the Yankees. How about not Mantle and Maris? I'll give that. I'll give you Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. But who's the other team that hit? And it happened in the uh, uh, happened right before 2010. Two left-handed hitters on the same team hit 20 or more home runs in 66 or fewer games. Okay, let's see what you can do with that one. The geniuses of the chat room. Okay, Mustakis not only did he hit a home run, but some some guy uh, it landed on a on a promotion car, and a guy who was at the game he got the he had some kind of number with his bobblehead, and he went he got so he, so he got a bobblehead and a car, but he got to pay taxes on the car, I think, right? Uh, name the other two left-handed hitters, two left-handed hitters who had on the same team twenty or more home runs by their sixty-sixth game. The first two were uh, Ruth and uh, Garrick. Now, Jordan Hicks has faced 425 batters in his career and allowed three home runs. That's not bad, right? Not bad. Good morning, Chacha. We're just talking about you. Uh, Craig Stamen gave up four home runs to four batters in a row. <laughs> How about that? And the Nationals became the only franchise to accomplish that twice. Turner... Rendon, Howie Kendrick, Adam Eaton, four home runs in a row. That's pretty cool, right? Craig Stamen did it. But the big thing is that Aaron Hicks faced over 400 batters, and he's only allowed a total of three home runs. That's why we played the game of baseball. Not Mantle and Maris. Helton and Cargo? No. That's a good guess, Helton and Cargo. Who is Hanser Alberto? Who is he? Unbelievable. Uh, He's having a great year. I'm just saying. I don't even know who he is. Dylan Bundy is becoming a decent pitcher. He used his fastball more frequently uh, than he has in the past. He threw his fastball 56% of the time, the first time in five starts that more than half his pitches were fastballs. Uh, Six in, he's allowed... I'll tell you something. He has a 302 in his past seven starts, dating back to the end of April. Give me a break, man. Dylan Bundy may be serviceable, okay? They play him against left-handed pitchers. All right, here's the here's the trivia question for you. Let's see how smart you are, Lou. This is for Lou Landers. Name the player in Major League Baseball uh, who leads the Major League's Against left-handed pitching and batting average. Name the player who's got the highest batting average in Major League Baseball against left-handed pitchers. Let's see if you can get this one there, Hotshot Lou. Uh, stick with Miguel uh, Castro before you, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty good, Bundy. Uh, Eloy starting to hit. That's right. Look out. I predicted he'd be better than Vlad. So, uh, uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, Lou's just a little too smart. 
Okay. Eloy starting to hit second in. He's looking for a fastball. He got a curve out front. Hit a home run that traveled 11 feet shy of the longest home run in the majors this year, according to uh, however they measure it. His, I'm telling you, he hit that ball. Forget about it. And uh, no ball has been hit further at Kauffman Stadium this year. Unbelievable. As I mentioned, DJ LeMayu, is he, could, could he, DJ LeMayu, be the MVP in the American League. 27 for 54. 32 RBIs with runners in scoring position. Okay? That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. And then uh, I still, I don't know what's going to happen. The Yankees were losing some games. But, um, yeah, George doesn't go that far on vacation. That's pretty funny, George. <laughs> <laughs> Eloy Jimenez has hit a ball further than I go on vacation. I got to write that down. I'm going on with Craig Mish, by the way, at uh, 12, at uh, around 10 after 12. Uh, Eloy's, I, I, I'm going to use that, George, okay? Uh, longer than vacation. There you go. Definitely going to use it. Thank you. I just wrote it down. Uh, Masahiro Tanaka. Now, all right, listen up to this. This is the most chilling sabermetric of all. It's all about sabermetrics, right? It's all about analytics, right? So you tell me why Masahiro Tanaka misses a start. Because the birth of his daughter? Bull dinky. You got you have to schedule it from the from the month of March to the month of July. This is an analytic, the most important sabermetric analytic you want. You have March, April, May, June, and July. Five months. After that, you gotta tuck it away. Because if you if you give if you conceive in March, you got nine months, and it'll still and you won't be in the season, right? Same thing. Okay, let's say July, August, September, October, November, December, December, I don't know, that's five. January, February, March. It's April. It's nine months, right? So you you're pressing it by December, but that's it. July is the last time. It's got to be early in July. Just write that down, okay? That's analytics. So we, we can figure out spin rate and, uh, and exit velocity and all that stuff. Pitches and glitches is here. Good morning. But we can't figure out when to conceive so you don't miss any game time. Stupid morons. Okay. Joe Jimenez, by the way. Don't get fooled. They're using him now in more low-level situations, low leverage, that is, because uh, he's going to be replacing Shane Green, and they got to build his confidence up, okay? they got to build up his confidence. This kid's a head case. So Gordon Hyatt doing the right thing. He's taking him out of the high-leverage situations, putting him in there to build up his confidence, then he's going to be the closer, all right? That's it. Cliff Floyd, he, he, some guys do it, okay? Uh, all right, so there you go. Uh, there's a core. Anyway, uh, Kansas City, I'll tell you something. The Royals are 0-14-12 in their last 16 series. There are too many teams that just aren't competitive, and that's screwing up baseball. Toronto doesn't care. Cleveland doesn't care about winning. Uh, too many teams, Kansas City, Come on, man. The Angels pitching staff has given up 111 home runs in 66 games, third most in the major leagues behind Baltimore and Seattle. But the Mariners lead baseball with 126 homers, but the Angels uh, rank 12th with 91. Can't have that. And as soon as Otani hit his sixth home run of the season uh, off of Japanese pitcher Kikuchi, uh, look, they retrieve the ball, the souvenir, uh, yeah, the souvenir goes to, uh, someplace, and we'll see. I, I think it's becoming, I mean, Otani is, I don't, I think he's much more valuable to this team 
just playing every day as a hitter. I wouldn't be surprised if next year they say he's not pitching anymore. Jake Odorizzi, first Twins pitcher to win nine straight decisions since who? Johan Santana. Okay? Odorizzi lowered his ERA to 192. Dominant. He could be in, He should be in the All-Star game. He had 16 in the third scoreless innings. Uh, but still, in six innings, he gave up one run, five hits, one walk, struck out eight. He's got a 0-4-0 ERA in his past four uh, games. Unbelievable. All right, he's not a flamethrower, but he throws 91 to 95. But it mo- it's deception and movement. Of 99 pitches he threw Sunday, 71 were fastballs. That's it. He entered Sunday having thrown his fastball almost 59% of the time, and opponents are hitting 154. He's got deception. He's got movement. He says, I just throw it. (laughs) And everybody else has to figure it out. Here's a trivia question. He's the ninth twin pitcher to reach nine victories in his first 64 games. Name another one. Uh, Not including Jim Cott. Name another pitcher in Minnesota, okay, who uh, had nine wins through his first 64 games. All right, I dare you, all right? Dare you. How's that? Willens Astadito. He was sent down to Rochester. He went three for four. Uh, he went three for four again. Give me a Jake Cave, named Twins Minor League Player of the Week. Keep an eye on this kid. 16-game hitting streak. Jake Cave. Uh, Kanha for Oakland. Started all four games at all three outfield positions and batted in different spots in the order. He batted second, fifth, seventh. It was so versatile. He's unbelievable. He's got a good OPS against right-handers as well. So uh, he's a player you can pick up now. Wade LeBlanc, like I said, solid in relief. <laughs> solid in relief. Oh, my goodness gracious. Came into the second inning. And Tampa, with uh, Snell, Blake Snell, throwing all night, battled his way through six innings, turned his first win in more than a month. And he was going five starts without a win. Second longest dry spell, but he went into Sunday with only three wins compared to five losses. Uh, But lack of support. They've averaged 3.4 runs per nine innings, third worst in the league. Seven times in his first 12 starts, they scored one or no runs. And uh, not good. Not good. They've gone 5 and 7 in the starts of Blake Snell, 34 and 17 in everybody else. Okay? And then, of course, you got Toronto and Lewis Wright, Stroman auditioning for something. Uh, no question about it. Toronto uh, lost 14 out of 17. They're 9 for tw- nine and 28 over the last 37 games. 18 under. I mean, just no good. And look, we all know that Stroman and Sanchez are the candidates to be moved. Guriel has been on a tear. He entered play Sunday 16 for 51. So you want to take a, a shot on that. Who's the Minnesota pitchers? Anybody want to throw one in there? Not Jim Cott, who won uh, um, first pitcher to win nine straight decisions since Joanne Santana there were a couple other guys who had done it. Let me read off. Let me just uh, uh, say I said read off. Camilio Pasqual did it, right? Burt Bly Levin was one. Good one. Leonard Donaldson on only Toledo. Rad Ratke was not one. It was Pasqual, Dean Chance, Jim Perry, Burt Bly Levin, Frank Viola. You should have got that one. And then you got Scott Erickson. And Kevin Slowey in 2009. How about that? Arnie, coming up next. Listen, guys, I have to say, i uh, just been doing a lot of stuff. I really apologize for not being around as often as I was only months ago. That's going to change soon. Just uh, running this uh, community is... Uh, ah. I gotta, I gotta go right now. I gotta go make sure that the tennis courts are being properly uh, uh, done by the tennis uh, people. And uh, 
We'll see what happens, all right? I'm not going to do this very much longer, but it's taken up.